we're going to tackle cable voltage drop, circuit breaker kayak rating, and bus bar bracing verification. For cable voltage drop, we're going to perform load flow study and for the verification of the circuit breaker kayak rating and bus bar bracing, we're going to run a uh, short circuit study. Okay, uh, as what you have seen from our screen, this is a pre-drawn, a pre-filled single line diagram. So this is this is a sample for a power system of high-rise residential building. Okay, so to give you an overview, right now our single line diagram, we have a power grid here and a power transformer. Okay, then the secondary power transformer is connected to main distribution panel. We have here uh, MDP or MDP. This MDP is having uh, seven outgoing feeders. The six outgoing feeders are supplying uh, sub-main distribution DPs or SMDPs. While one feeder here is supplying the MCC panel and the SMC panel also is having motors. We have some pump. This is typical for a high-rise residential building. So we have some pump here. We have power pump motors. We have STP pump motors here. Okay. So right now we're going to verify what we have filled on each electrical component here. So this, since this is a pre-filled, uh, we'll check it one by one what what's being uh, what are the values we assign from here so let's start on the power transformer okay so just let's double click this power transformer symbol okay so what we have chosen the standard here is ANSI standard okay and the rating here For the voltage rating, we provided the primary voltage to be 34.5 kV and the secondary voltage to be 0.4 kV. The power rating we provided here 1 MBA. Okay, so this full load ampere this is automatically calculated by ATAP. Okay, and for this 1 MBA. ATAP also automatically provided the typical impedance and XR ratio. So for the positive and uh, zero sequence impedance, we have 7.25%. And the XR ratios for positive and zero sequence also, we have 5.79 from here. For the top tapping of our transformer, we provided here the primary as zero or the nominal tap or the center tap. Okay, so this is, uh, let's, let's oh, just press OK for this transformer. Okay. And next for our power grid, let's double click this symbol for power grid. Okay. So, from pow our power grid, the rating is 34.5 because, you know, our primary for the transformer is 34.5 kV. Then, this, since we are conducting also later for a short circuit study, so we require to provide a short circuit rating for our power grid. Actually, what we have here is 100 MBA uh, for the short circuit rating. And the XR ratio we assign here for 25. These are only assumptions. But normally, this information have to be taken from the distribution utility company. So for the sake of our discussion today, we'll just assign these values. So just press OK. Then we have this MDP bus here. This is our main distribution panel bus. Okay, so we have here 
for the SMDP, we provided 50 KBA. Okay, this is the load for SMDP1. For SMDP2, we have 75 KBA here. SMDP3, if you're asking how we are going to fill this value, just double click this. Okay, so from here, from the loading, okay, so from here, we can provide the value from here, 150 KBA. In our case, we provide the 150 KBA. Okay, so for our SMDP4, we have 100 KBA. These are the static loads, by the way. So these symbols are static loads. So for SMDP5, we have 70 KVA. And SMDP6, we have 85 KVA. Okay. So now we're going to verify first the, uh, the value of the cables for our MDP panel. By the way, for, for this feeder going to this... Uh, this feeder is going to our MCC bus. Okay, so now we're going to verify for the values of our cable for MDP panel first. Okay, this cable here we call it cable one. This is MDP com uh, in camera. This cable connected from the secondary of our power transformer going to the MDP bus. So by check. So let's check what is our size of the cable from here. Let's double click the symbol for the cable. Okay, so we assign here uh, 50 meters here, see 50 meters from the power transformer going to the MDP. Okay, so this is by meter. So we go to the library, go to the library. Since we don't have the actual value from the manufacturer here, we took the information from ATAP library. So what we selected here, see, we have this cable is in metric, the frequency in 60 hertz, the type is copper, and is rated since our MDP bus is 400 volts or 0.4 kV, we provided here the cable is rated, since this is power cable, so we provided here the cable is rated 1 kV and it is 3 core the insulation is XLPE so what we have selected here for the encumber is 240 mm square cable so this is just press ok so from here we have number of conductors per phase we provided it by with 4 numbers ok so you know ATAP Let's select the impedance for the cable here. ATAP automatically assign the values for impedance of the cable here. We have the resistance. We have also here the inductance. This is for the positive and zero sequence uh, impedance of the cable. And we have also here the XR ratio, the impedance. Everything, since we selected the library, ATAP automatically allocated the, all these values so just press ok so for our Kimball temperature for this for our discussion today we assign a 90 degrees centigrade okay this is the base value for cable temperature so just press ok okay so for SMDP one let's check the size of the cable okay this is for the feeder smdp1 just double click we assign this one as cable 2 for cable for smdp1 okay and then the length of the cable this is from the mdp panel going to our smdp1 is 65 meter so from the library same as what we have discussed this is in matrix and the frequency is 60 hertz, the type is copper, and so on. So, here we assign the cable to be 3 core 10 mm square. Okay? And if you check here, just press OK. This number of conductors per phase is 1. And here you see library, the positive and zero sequence automatically assigned by uh, 
by ATAP library. So the ohms per 1 kilometer, this is also automatically uh, assigned by the, our system. Okay? So just pre press OK for this. Okay? So for cable 3, uh, mm -hmm. cable number 3 for SMD, SMDP to feeder, let's check what is the size of the cable from here. The length is 70 meters. And from the library, we assign this cable as 3 core into 35 mm square. Okay? Just press OK. And this OK also. For the cable 4, we have 150 kVA. Our cable here, cable size. Okay? By the way, the length is 60 meter. And let's check the library. The cable size for 150 kVA. KVA, we assign 3 core into 95 mu square. Okay. Let's press OK. And for the cable 5, supplying SMDP4, the length of the cable is 65, 68 meter. And from the library, we assign 3 core into 16 mu square XLPE. Just press OK. For SMDP5, you have 70 kVA. The length is 70 meter. And what we have assigned here is 3 core into 35 m square XLPE. So just press OK. And this one, OK. So for uh, SMDP6, cable number 7, we have 75 meter. And the size for our cable is also 3 core into 35. Just press OK. And OK for this one also. OK. So, let's go to verify for the power cable which is connected between the MDP panel going to the MCC panel. So, this is for the cable 8. OK. So, the length is 25 meter. And... The cable is 3 core into 120 m square XLPE. Press OK. And this cable is uh, 2 runs per phase. Okay, so just press OK. Here, for the MCC panel, we have some pump here. The cable for some pump for the MCC uh, panel, we have here the cable number 10. The number of conductor per phase is 1. The length is 40 meter. The size is 3 core into 10 m square. Okay. For the power pump, for a 100 horsepower power pump, we have here, we assign the length as 50 meter. And the size of the cable is 4 core, or rather 3 core into 10 m square. Just press OK and OK for this. And the last will be for the power cable which is con So let's remove this. The power cable which is connecting to STP pump. 75 horsepower STP pump. So let's double click the cable. The length is 45 meters. And this cable we assign 3 core into 25 mm square cable. Okay. Okay. So, from here, now this system, how we would know that all these in the single line diagram are interconnected properly? Okay. So, we'll just press this, this button, check circuit continuity. Okay. We'll just check this one. Nothing error from here, meaning all the points are interconnected properly. Okay, so now this single line diagram is ready to run for uh, load flow study because we're going to verify the voltage drop of the cable. By the way, okay, uh, for this study, we just want to ensure that the voltage drop from transformer 
going to MDP should not be more than 1%. Okay? And the voltage drop also from MDP panel going to each SMDP should not be more than 2.5%. You know why? Why you know why I said this? Because this SMDP panel downstream there will be another we call it uh, final DP or the FDP and that FDP there will be some lightings connected on that and some power outlets connected on that so that's why we just want to ensure that we meet the farthest distance of our electrical equipment to be the voltage drop to be not more than 5% that's why from MDP we set only 1% voltage drop and the SMDP to be 2.5% voltage drop. Okay, so here we never sit here because from this bus from NDP is going directly to the MCC and we know already that down from MCC is this is the farthest uh, uh, electrical equipment. So from here we can identify directly the voltage drop that and we can ensure or we need to ensure that the voltage drop for these motors will not go beyond 5%. Okay. So on the leftmost of part of your screen we have the P and Q here. Okay? So just press this. Just press this one. Okay, now this single line diagram is ready to run for load flow analysis. But before that, we just click this uh, edit study case. Okay. So, for your information, we're going to adapt the adaptive new newton Raphson method. And the maximum iteration here, this is being given by ATAP. We have already 99 and the precision is 0 0.0001. Okay. So for the alert here, this is also uh, provided, I will just adapt it also what is being provided by ATAP. So for the over voltage, we have 100%, 105% for the critical and 102% for the marginal. And for the under voltage, we have here for the critical 95% and 98% for the, for the marginal. So just press OK for this, okay? And let's click this display options let's ensure that this part here voltage drop line and cable is already checked so that once we perform the load flow analysis the the information regarding the voltage drop will be shown from our single line diagram so it is already checked right now so just press ok on this now we're going to perform a load flow study to check the voltage drop of every feeder okay on the right side corner from our screen we have here run load flow we'll just click this one okay okay so we have here first we're going to identify uh the bus bar loading okay in our mdp bus as you can as you have seen from here this mdp bus the bus bar is in pink color while also the mcc bus the same is in pink color it means the voltage here is in marginal value because it is in 97.65 percent mm -hmm. Also for the MCC bus is 97.26%. What we set before is for the marginal value is supposed to be to meet the 98% of the nominal voltage. But this is below 98%. That's why the color of the bus has changed to pink. To resolve this issue, first, let's go to the transformer. We're going to change the top setting of our transformer here so from let's go to the top okay so from what we have here zero from nominal value 
or the center top, let's change it to by negative 2.5%. And just press OK. Let's see. We're going to run again the load flow study here. Okay. To check whether we resolve the issue on the under voltage on the bus. Okay. Just run load flow and click. Okay. So from here, the color before that was pink and it now it's in black already. So for the MDP bus, we have already here 100.2% of the nominal voltage while for the MCC bus here, we have 99.84%. So we have already resolved the issue on the voltage division on the bus for MDP and on the bus for MCC. The next thing we're going to verify right now is the voltage drop of each feeder. Okay, so earlier we discussed that we need to ensure that from the transformer going to our MDP, the voltage drop shall not be more than 1%. We have here 0.61%, so that is okay right now. So, right now, we also discussed earlier that from the voltage drop from MDP going to the SMDP panels, we have 6 here, total 6, okay, should not be more than 2.5%, okay. So from here, we have here 4.33% voltage drop. So this is already not meeting our requirement. For SMDP2, we have 206 this is okay. For SMDP3, we have 1.32% voltage drop. This is also okay. But for the SMDP4, we required 25 and we have also here 5.64% voltage drop. So this is not meeting the requirement. We're going to resolve this one, this issue. For voltage, for SMDP number 5, we have 1.92% voltage drop. And for SMDP, Number six, we have 2.49% voltage drop. This is still okay because we required only 2.5%. Okay, so from here, we have the, the cable between the, MT, the MDP bus and the MCC bus is 0.383% voltage drop. So this is okay. So this is less than 1%. You go down, we have on our sump pump motor, the voltage drop is 2.74%. This is already okay because this is the this, this is the uh, the farthest equipment from MCC. So we have only 2.74% at a steady state we required only 5%. But and also for the STP pump here we have 1.86% voltage drop. So it's, it's still okay. But for the power pump we have here 6.95% voltage drop so this is not okay because we require from here a five percent voltage drop okay so right now for sizing of our cables we're going to verify for two uh two criteria one criteria it has to the voltage drop within its permissible limit the second criteria uh the loading of the uh, or the current carrying capacity of our cable okay so we're going to rectify three areas here wherein our voltage drop is has been failed okay first this mdp is mdp one we have here 4.33 percent voltage drop wherein we required only 2.5 to solve this we need to change the size of our cable Okay, so initially, this can be this can be solved in two ways. We can we can add the number of phase here, a uh, number of conductors per phase, or we can change this. We can increase the size of our power cable. So what we for this study, we're going only to change and increase the size of power cable. So here. We have four, uh, our cable is 10 mm square. We'll just increase it to 25 mm square. Okay. Let's see. 
Okay, 25 m square here. Okay. And let's press this. Okay. The second issue we have on the MDP is MDP4, right? This, this is the second issue we have. Okay. And let's try to increase the power cable from 16 m square going to 50 m square. Okay. See? Oh, no. 50 m square. Okay. And press okay. The third one we have for the fire pump. Okay. So initially for the fire pump, our size of the cable is for the 100 horsepower. Our size of the cable is 10 m square only. That's why we have a huge voltage drop. So we're going to change right now to 25 m square. Okay. Let's see if this is already 25. Yes. Okay. So now it's going to verify again the voltage drop of those three feeders that we have changed recently. So just we'll just press this run float road uh, load flow and press OK. Now for the SMDP one, we have already 1.77% voltage drop. And this is okay now because what we require is 2.5% voltage drop. For SMDP4, we have now 1.97% voltage drop. And this is okay already also because with for the SMDP, we require only up to 2.5%. And also for the power pump motor, we have already 2.7%. We have here 2.7% voltage drop. Okay? So, and now... We have resolved the issues for the voltage drop of the cables. But this is, we have already done for the sizing of the cables. No. We need also to check the current carrying capacity of the cables. The loadings of the cables. How? We're going to check it from here. Okay? So, just press this load flow analyzer. Okay? By pressing this load flow analyzer, okay, so let's to understand the ID, let's make it bigger, wider, by the way. Okay, so from here, we have here the ID, these are the cable 1 up to the cable 11 and also the TR. The ID number, uh, the item number 12 is we have the TR. The ID uh, number 1 to 11, we have this cable. Okay? And we have here the percent loading. If you see here, we have a red in color. This is in critical value because the loading up to 100%. And now we can see here, for example, the, the cable number 2, we have 114.9%. This is more than 100 so everything in red here is more than 100%. It means our cable, our cables in this red are overloaded. So we have only three, uh, two cables and one transform which are not overloaded. We have cable one, the MDP in camera, we have only 73%. So it's not overloaded. The second one, we have cable from MDP going to MCC that is 70.7% loading. So it's not overloaded. And transformer as well. Although transformer is not part of the cable here. So we need to check also. Transformer here is 74.7% loading percent of the loading. So these are out of 12, we have 9 which is in critical value. Okay. So it meaning... Again, we need to increase or the size of the cable or we need to provide more uh, runs per phase of the cables. In our, in our study for today, we'll just increase the size of the cables. Okay, so let's close this load flow analyzer and we're going to change one by one the size of the cable to correct the, the loading of the cable for the cable number two to cable number seven and 
cable number 9 going to cable number 11. Okay, just press this close. Just close this one first. Okay, so for SMDP1, okay, so we'll just change this. Let's correct the cable from 25. Let's change into 50. Just press OK. For cable, no, for SMDP2, let's change this one into 4 core into 70. You know, it's a huge increase because if you have seen, uh, almost double that, you know, our cable is overloaded. So you just press OK for this one. OK, for SMDP3. SMDP3, let's choose 185M square. Okay, just press OK. SMDP4, let's select 120M square here. Just press OK. Okay. SMDP5. Seven team square. Let's select seven team square from here. Okay. SMDP six. Let's select from here. Let's change into ninety five m square. Okay. And so we don't have issue for this cable here. It was okay. Now only for the three motors. So. For the sump pump, the cable before it was 10 mm square. Let's change into 50 mm square. For the power pump, the cable it was 25. Now we're changing into 95 mm square. Okay, and for the STP pump, okay, the cable size earlier, it was 25 and we're changing now into 70 m square. Okay, so let's see, we're going to run again the low flow study to check, now because we have already resolved the voltage drop, right, to check the current carrying capacity of the cable or the loading of the cable okay so let's run again load flow study right now run load flow okay see now let's click this uh, load flow analyzer so from the load flow analyzer we don't have any red flag anymore as you can see here the percent loading okay this is we have 73.1 percent 66 percent 70 percent 74 percent wherein most of the cables are below 80 percent of the loading okay so now we have res we have already resolved the issue of the cable not only for the voltage drop of the cable but also the current carrying capacity of the cable okay so let's close this one okay right now we have done already the sizing of our power cable the next topic that we're going to discuss right now we're going to run a short circuit study in order to check the Kaek rating of our circuit breaker here and the bus bar bracing. Okay, so let's shift this one. This we have here the load flow study, right? And on, on that, after the load flow study, we have here the short circuit study. So just press this. Okay, so right now in the short circuit study, we have here the uh, study case, okay. For the short circuit study, 
we're going to uh, first identify what are the buses to be bolted. In our case, we're going to bolt only MDP bus, okay, the main distribution panel bus, let's say fault, and the MCC bus, we fault here, okay. So next, we'll go to the standard, okay. We're going to select ANSI standard from here, okay. We have here already ANSI standard. And the alert, let's say the alert for for the marginal, let's say let's change this one into 90%. Okay. Let's change this one to the 90% marginal for the critical, of course, 100%. And just press OK. Okay. So from here, we have here the display options. Okay. So display option, the voltage, we have here three phase and we're still going and the short circuit to be shown on the screen has to be momentary symmetrical short circuit okay and uh, the and the contribution okay we don't have medium voltage motors here the large low voltage motors and the small low voltage motors okay so just press okay for this one okay okay so right now if you from your uh right side from your screen we have here duty for three phase we have duty for single phase and the maximum uh, short circuit we have here for the four cycle short circuit we have here for the minimum all these four here we're not going to discuss today we will going to make another video to tackle this uh, uh, short circuit this type of short circuit study under ANSI standard because what we have right now, this run three phase de device duty through ANSI standard 37 is sufficient enough to determine our, because this is only low voltage, to, de to determine our short circuit uh, for the verification of our circuit breaker kai rating and the assignment of bus bar bracing for our NDP bus and our MCC bus. Okay. Okay. To give you the overview for this uh, three phase uh, three phase device duty study, this by clicking this button here, this will perform a three phase fault study per ANSI 37 standard. This study calculates momentary symmetrical an asymmetrical RMS momentary asymmetrical crest what do you mean by momentary this is the one half cycle network this is the one half cycle after the fault okay then also this has this will provide interrupting symmetrical RMS and interrupting adjusted symmetrical RMS your circuit currents at faulted buses. The program checks the protective device rated closed and latching. By the way, we're not going to verify the closed and latching because we're going our our scope right now is to check only the KI rating of the low voltage circuit breaker. And interrupting capacities against the fault currents and flags inadequate devices in our case, motors are modeled, because we have only motors here, we don't have the generator, are modeled by their respective sequence subtransient reactants. Okay, so right now, so we have already voltage our, uh, we have two bus are, that are being voltage here, the MDP bus, this one, and the MCC bus. This is a prerequisite before you before running a short circuit study there should be a bus to be vaulted okay so since this short circuit study will going to verify the ki rating of the circuit breaker and also the to provide the bus bracing of these two buses we're going to assign temporary values of this component okay so from here, 
So, for the circuit breaker, bring camera of the MDP. We'll go to the rating from here. Here, we're going to assign, let's say, 10KA. Okay. 10KA. Unless, this is important. The rated KV it should be, we have here 48. Our bus voltage is 0.4. It should be greater than the 0.4 KV. So, we don't have 0.4 here. We selected only 0.48. And just press OK. Okay. First, we're going to assign for all the breakers. Okay. So, for the SMDP1 breaker, let's say, let's provide all 10K here. So, really 10K. Okay. And the rated KB is 0.48. Okay. Also, SMDP2 breaker. Let's assign here 10K. And the rated KB is 0.48. This is okay. SMDP3. The rating here is 10 kA and we assign, oh, of course, the rating kV is 0.48. Okay, so here we have already pre assigned all 10 kilo amperes high rating of the circuit breaker and also for our sump pump, our fire pump, our steepy pump. So let's check by this this one. We have here assigned already a 10 kilo amperes high rating of our steepy pump. But this is not the final rate, uh, kayak rating because this will be verified if whether this one is sufficient after running the search circuit study. Now, we'll go for the bus bracing. So let's double click this bus. Okay. And we have the load here. And on the rating, let's go for the rating. Okay. Let's say, let's also assign. By the way, for the bus bracing, okay. We require the momentary asymmetrical RMS and the symmetrical momentary symmetrical RMS values. Okay, so temporarily we will assign here 10 kilo amperes for asymmetrical RMS and the symmetrical RMS here. So 10 kilo amperes. That is for the MTP bus. Okay, for the MCC bus, we have here. Let's go to the rating. We assign also 10 kilo amperes for a symmetrical RMS and 10 amperes also for symmetrical RMS. Okay. So we're going to verify whether what we have assigned, the KA rating for the bus bar and the KA rating for the circuit breaker, are sufficient enough on the actual circuit of the power system. Okay. So now we're go going to run for this uh, short circuit study. Okay, this press this. Okay. Okay, so we have flag here. So from here, CB number one. It means this is the MDP in camera. Device ID, we have here the. We have here the type. You have LBCB, the condition. We have interrupting the rating limit. We assign this thing 10 kilo amperes. But the operating current, the short circuit current is 20.672 amperes. This is this is the asymmetrical RMS bar value momentary. So what we have assigned is not enough since it is operating already 2.6. 206.7 percent so this is for the cb1 okay so let's move we have the pump cbs we have some pump cb10 we have here it is operating in 17.112 kilo amperes present operating 171.1 amperes so the 10 k is not enough as well. This is for the circuit breaker of the sump pump. Circuit breaker for the sump pump. This is also for the power pump. The same. We have also 171.1% present operating. And also for the STP pump. The same also 171.1%. Okay. So for, for the breakers of our SMDPs. Let's check it from here. 
SMDP2 feeder, SMDP, SMDP3, SMDP4, SMDP5, SMDP6, all are operating in 206.7 amperes because we propose 10 kilo amperes, but it is in the the short circuit current is 20.672 amperes. Okay, so now we're going to verify our bus bar bracing. In our bus bar bracing, you see here MCC bus. We have here the panel board. Uh, device ID is MCC bus. Type is panel board condition. Bracing symmetrical. We assign 10 kilo amperes, but the operating is 15.73 kilo amperes. So it's not enough. It is operating at 157.3. The same also for the MCC bus. Uh, bracing asymmetrical. We have also here operating at 100.170. 5.6% Okay, that is So, everything here What we have assigned at 10 kilo amperes The KX rating for What we have assigned earlier for the circuit breaker And the bus, bus bar bracing For the MDP bus and MCC bus Are not enough So, how to resolve this So, as what we have seen here For the circuit breaker we have here the circuit breaker, for example, for for the circuit breaker of, uh, let's say, for the circuit breaker of the SMDP, it is operating in 20.672 kiloamperes. So, we're going to change that one into 25 kiloamperes. Okay? So, and then... For the breaker of uh, MCC, MCC bus, from here, the CV11 power pump, it is operating at 17.12 7, kiloamperes. So, later we're going to change this one into 22 kiloamperes. That is for the KI rating of the circuit breaker. For the MCC bus, uh, for the buses, okay, we're going for the bus, we're going to assign the same KI rating of the trans uh, of our circuit breaker and we'll check it later if there will be any flag from here, any critical value flag from here because all of this one are in critical value, okay. So, okay, so let's close this right now. We're going to change it one by one, okay. So, from here. This is a circuit breaker. The, the rating here. Let's change into 25 kilo amperes. So, okay. So here, uh, all the circuit breaker here for the MDP bus will going to change into 25 kilo amperes. And also the bus bracing, both symmetrical RMS and asymmetrical RMS will assign into 25 kilo amperes. Okay. So next for the bus, bus bar bracing. Let's change into 25. Let's make it 25 kiloamperes. And this one also 25 kiloamperes. Symmetrical RMS. Okay. So see, it provided the symmetrical 25. The bracing for the asymmetrical automatically changed into 31.2 kiloamperes. Okay. Okay here. So, and then let's change all the outgoing feeders breaker into 25 kilo amperes. Rating 25 kilo amperes from here. Okay, this one also has to be 25 kilo amperes. 25. Oh no, this is 22. 25 kilo amperes. This is 25. Go to the rating. Let's change 25. Okay, for SMDP4. This has to be 25 also. 
Okay. SMD V5. This is 25. SMD P6. This is also 25. The feeder going to MCC. This is SMDP. Let's change this one to 25. Okay. And for the MCC, all the breakers will change into 22 kilo amperes only. Because uh, the actual short circuit current is around 16 amperes. So from here, let's make it 22. For the pump, let's provide this one as 22 kilo amperes as well. For the fire pump, 22 kilo amperes. Okay. And the rating for the stepy pump is 22 kilo amperes. The bus bar bracing for the MCC panel. Okay, let's change this one into 25, uh, 22 kilo amperes. 22 kilo amperes. And just press okay. Okay, so now let's check if there's any abnormalities after we change, we upgraded our KX rating for the circuit breaker and uh, for our bus bracing. So let's run again this uh, three-fifth device duty. Okay, let's press this. Okay, and let's check it from our unsized show circuit analyzer. See, nothing here. So it means there's no more abnormalities in the system. It means. For the MDP panel, we assign 25 KX rating for our circuit breaker, which is uh, sufficient enough for the short circuit current. And also for the bus bar bracing, we assign both 25 kilo amperes, uh, 25 KA for the symmetrical RMS and asymmetrical RMS. And also for our MCC bus, the, all the circuit breaker, the KIC rating, we change it from 10 to 22. And that is good enough because the short circuit rating, the actual short circuit rating is only around 16 kilo amperes. And for the bus bar bracing, we also provided both symmetrical RMS and asymmetrical RMS into 22 kilo amperes. So here, uh, so here, we could say that that uh, uh, our voltage drop, we can calculate and verify easily through load flow study and also for the bus bar bracing of our switch gear or our MDP panel, we can verify easily also by performing uh, the the uh, sure circuit study.